So what we've got here is a floor jack and a jack stand that we need to talk about safety with these uh, so that as you're jacking up the vehicles, we don't have an accident. The first thing we need to know is this handle twists. And if we twist the handle in a clockwise fashion or toward the right, it will lock the hydraulics so that when we move our arm, it'll raise the jack. The second thing about this jack is if you twist it counterclockwise, it will release the hydraulics and lower the jack. And those are the two things we need to be aware of. And one thing for sure, never get under a vehicle that is supported only by a jack of any kind. Always make sure that you have a floor jack that is supporting the weight of the vehicle. And these, we're going to rise up, they have a lock on them, wide base, and the vehicle will sit down on top so that they won't move and have an accident. And We've all heard of folks that have been injured because of a jack that's given way or the vehicle is rolled. And to release it, all we do is pull up on the handle and it'll drop it down. So now what I'm going to do is demonstrate to you how to use it. And all I need to do is roll a jack down underneath the vehicle. And on this vehicle, uh, the pinch weld on the edge of the frame here is the closest thing to get to. And it's very stable and secure to jack up against. And I've tightened the handle so I can get my jack to operate. And what our goal here is to get the vehicle high enough so that we can work on what we need to under the car. If all we're working on is the tire at this point, it's plenty high to work on. And so at this point, what we need to do is get the jack stand underneath the car and see whether or not we've got it properly positioned. And as you release the handle, make sure that the jack handle doesn't come up and contact the side of the car. Our customers don't like that very much. What I want to do is make sure that I've got a place underneath the vehicle that has a good, safe uh, location to support the weight of the car. Now, if we were up higher, we'd need to raise the jack stand up, but because we're it's, where it is, I found a nice frame support bolt and all I'm going to do at this point is just come back and lower the vehicle slowly watching what's going on underneath. Now I've stopped the jack just below the vehicle of the frame. What that does is adds one more level of protection. If the jack stand happened by chance, move or slip, the jack being in position here, just slightly below it, again, could save uh, hands, fingers, and the like. And once that's complete, all we have to do is come back and lower the vehicle. and slide out without damaging the undercarriage of the car.